Hey, Tara, welcome. Thank you. Just curious, what have they told you to expect for your role coming into this team? Uh, to come in, work, uh, push each day to get better, compete, uh, and do whatever it takes to, to help this team uh, achieve the goals that we, that we set. Um, How do you view it? Do you view you're coming in to compete for the starting job, or are you, are you the backup? Um, I view it as coming in, obviously, learning the offense, pushing the guys in the room, um, and just going out and putting my best foot forward each day. Uh, my, my process since I've been drafted in 2011 has been to prepare as a starter. Um, obviously, at the quarterback position, you never know when your number is called, and you want to be able to go in and play at a high level. So that's, that's my focus, um, and I'll continue to keep working as we get back uh, in the swing of things in April. Thanks. Ryan Donlevy, New York Post. Hey, Ty Rudd, welcome. Thank you. Uh, did you have any kind of relationship with Joe Shane and went from your times in Buffalo? I know he was the assistant GM, not the GM, but did you have any kind of relationship with him? And is that something that was able to make this more comfortable? Like, how did that go? Um, we definitely talked uh, with each other uh, while the year we spent together in Buffalo, um, I wouldn't say it was a, a strong uh, relationship or bond. Uh, definitely familiar with one another um, and just the way that we go about our business each and every day. Um, and the opportunity presented itself for me to, to, for me to come here. Thankful for it. Uh, thankful for him uh, trusting in me to bring me here and looking forward to getting to work. Can you... Tyra, can you give us an idea what your market was like? Like, did you have uh, other opportunities that you were weighing against this one? Was this like the first one? Take it, jump on it. Like, what was? What'd you feel like your market was like? Um, there were other opportunities, um, but there's no need to talk about those now. Um, in my opinion, um, just glad to be a giant. Like I said, thankful for the opportunity and looking forward to getting to work. Tom Rock, Newsday. Ty Rod, did you, did you know Daniel before this, and have you have you spoken to him since? I did not know uh, Daniel. Yes, we uh, text uh, yesterday, actually, um, uh, back and forth, and looking forward to working alongside him. Uh, looking forward to uh, pushing um, us, pushing each other, and just helping the quarterback room be the best that it could be, so this team could be the best that it can be. What do you think about his game from afar? Uh, very talented. Um, Obviously, we've seen him make all the throws, uh, can escape the pocket, does a good job of, um, of, of, of leading as well, too. Um, like I said, I've never met him in person, just watched it from afar. Um, and I've been impressed. And like I said, looking forward to working with him. Thank you. Pat Leonard, Daily News. Hey, Tyrod, why did you choose the Giants ultimately? Um, I think it was just a, a great fit uh, to be able to come in. Obviously, like I said, <clears throat> learn from uh, a bunch of offensive-minded guys and uh, Coach Dabbs, uh, Shea, as well as uh, Kafka, um, as well as just the, the team, the, the talent on the team. Uh, just thought it was a great fit for me and where I'm at in my career. Um, opportunity, like I said, uh, to come in and continue to uh, progress um, as I'm going into year 12 and offer this team whatever I can to, to help them help them win. Well, one thing I'm curious about, I mean, you've proven you can start in this league, right? So I would think if you had a lot of opportunities in free agency that you would choose a place where you thought you had a chance to play at some point and not just be a backup. So I guess what I'm asking you is, did you do you envision or did you see a chance to start here at some point possibly and was that a factor in choosing the Giants? Um, there's no crystal ball. Obviously, um, you never know what the future holds. Um, you have to pick what makes the most sense for you in that time. And I think uh, choosing uh, to come here made the most sense for me, like I said, in that time for this stage of my career. Um, obviously, Daniel has played uh, a number of snaps here and has played – uh, play well. Um, like I said, I've, I've watched them. Um, so to come in and to think that, oh, this is an opportunity to, to start, uh, that's not necessarily the a, a weighing factor. It's more so what makes the most sense. And obviously coming in and 
and staying ready for the opportunity if it does present itself. But um, I didn't I didn't weigh that in um, because, like I said, it's you don't have a crystal ball. Thanks, man. We have time for a couple more. Art Stapleton, the record. Hey, Tyrod, welcome. Thank you. You know, you mentioned your journey. You've been in situations before where you're not necessarily the clear-cut guy for a long period of time, especially the last couple of years, and you've gone into a competition where you've worked with another quarterback and pushed each other, young guys, other veterans. What about your game and maybe your personality that allows you to uh, fit in that kind of role? Um, I think because I – obviously you put the team first, but – the outside noise I never let um, affect me. Um, I've been a, a big believer of control what you can control. And each day you walk into the building, you can control your attitudes, your effort, and, and, and how you go about your business. And I think that um, helps you to be able to work with in any type of situation. Um, if you're confident in yourself, uh, confident in your ability to go out and perform, um, but also uh, a great teammate, I think that you're able to maneuver through what most people would think is tough situations or tough circumstances um, in a matter where it doesn't affect you. Is there a difference when you're in the room with maybe a rookie or a dra- you know, highly drafted rookie versus a guy like, like Daniel who you know, has been in this league now for a couple of years, or do you kind of take the same approach? I take the same approach. And like I said, I've been around guys that will be in the Hall of Fame, uh, Phillip Rivers, potentially Flacco, and I've been around uh, number one overall picks and guys that are drafted high. And I think, like I said, just having the mindset of coming in, being about your work, um, challenging yourself to be better each and every day is his work for me. And I'll continue to keep that mindset and that work ethic.